Hey YouTube fam, I'm Denise Tanisha and I make planning, lifestyle, and beauty videos every week. So today I'm giving you tips and tricks on my everyday, quick and easy drugstore beat face. I picked my drugstore face that lasts all day and best of all, nothing is over $10. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and let's go. So I'm going to go in with my Clinique Clarifying Lotion to remove any excess dirt or oil off of my skin before I put on my makeup. That is your number one step for a smooth face. Then I'm going to go in with my Milani Keep It Sweet Sugar Scrub to exfoliate my lips so that they're smooth for makeup application. I am going to take a makeup remover wipe to take them off. Um, it is edible, it's sweet, but the makeup remover wipe tastes terrible. I'm gonna go in with my Clinique Moisturizing Gel Lotion. This is a water-based water -based lotion. You need to make sure that you moisturize your face before you put on any type of base because that's gonna keep your skin from overproducing oils, even if you have oily skin. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some lip balm on my lips to keep them moisturized throughout the day. Okay, I'm going to go in with my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. It's a three-in-one spray. It primes, corrects, and sets. It's a light lightweight spray that locks in your makeup up to 16 hours and keeps your colors from fading and settling to creases. You could use it before and after your makeup application. Instead of using foundation, I'm going to use a concealer that is close to my skin tone full coverage and matte and I'm just going to spot conceal around my face that needs to be covered up and blend that out. In a natural everyday makeup look I prefer using a concealer that is full coverage and my skin tone than using a foundation because it is quicker to blend out those areas than to try to blend out foundation and make sure that it is blended and smooth. Also, when you go over the concealer with your face powder closer to the end, it all kind of melts into each other and it looks like you did use a full face of foundation. This is just faster. Now I'm just gonna go back and any areas that need a little bit more attention, I'm gonna add a tad bit more concealer to blend that out and this concealer does dry super quick so if you need to you could use that setting spray to uh, loosen it up a little bit now I'm gonna go in with that same concealer and I'm gonna put it on my eyelids to mute out my um, purple eyes and kind of act as a primer or base for my eyeshadow. But this is a super important step for anyone who has darker eyelids like I do. You have to use something on your eyelids to kind of neutralize the color so that your shadows pop. This is a crucial step. Do not sleep on this step. I take my translucent powder and I set my eyelids. Anywhere I have concealer, I set it. You can use the Milani translucent number two or the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 30. They're perfect alternatives, but you need to bake your eyelids so that your shadow stays on all day. I'm gonna go ahead and put my e.l.f. eye tapes on my eyes. This is a great beginner friendly tip. Some makeup technicians use tape, but they sell these for a dollar at most drugstores. So now I'm gonna go in with my Black Radiance Contour Kit and I'm going to set my whole eyelids with the Sculpt shade. And those eye tapes are gonna make sure that my eyeshadow doesn't get everywhere. So now I'm gonna go in with the Sculpt color and I'm gonna deepen that crease. So you could be as messy as you want because those eye tapes are gonna catch all the fallout. Then I'm gonna go in with my finger and use the highlight shade and put that on my lids. I'm gonna go in with a flat shader brush. All the brushes are linked in the description box below and they're a great starter set. And I'm going to get the inner corner of my eyes because my nails are too long with that highlight shade. Now I'm gonna go back in with my crease brush, my crease blending brush, and I'm gonna use that sculpt color to kind of deepen up that crease one more time and then get any of the shimmer out. I'm gonna go in with my Remmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof 
black eye pencil and you could be as messy as you want with this step again. That's why this is a really super easy beginner friendly tutorial because we're going to smudge out that black liner so you do not need to be perfect with it. Plus that e.l.f. eye tape will um, give you a crisp wing line even if you totally mess this up. So now I'm gonna smudge out that black line. That's why I said you didn't have to be pro. You don't have to do it perfectly. Mess it up. It's still gonna look nice and smoky. I did cut those elf eye tapes in half just in case you're wondering. Now this part is totally optional. I'm taking a liquid liner and I'm just running it across my lash line to make my lashes appear thicker. Now once I take those elf eye tapes off, look at how crisp that line is, I have perfect wings and my eyeshadow is applied perfectly. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Ultra Precise Eyebrow Pencil in Neutral Brown and I'm going to fill out my brows. And um, what I like to do is start from the bottom and draw a line to kind of define how I want the shape to be. Then I brush the hairs down and then fill the top of the brows where I want the line to be and then fill in the front use the spoolie brush to kind of diffuse the color to the front and then I make it perfect when I start to carve out the brows with the concealer. We're going to go ahead and use a flat angle concealer brush and the e.l.f. Camel Concealer Hydrating Concealer in Deep Olive. That is a lighter concealer shade that we're going to use to highlight our face. That's going to be perfect for underneath our brows to mimic a fresh like brow wax and you wanna get as close to the eyebrow as possible so that you could mimic that freshly waxed look. You don't wanna use the lighter color on top because then it is going to not look as natural. So we're gonna go in with the darker concealer that we use to spot conceal our face, use that to clean up the top of our brow to get the perfect wax shape, and it will look so much more natural because it'll blend right into your skin tone. So that is my suggestion to you. Just always, when we're doing this natural look, you need two concealers. One that's your face color, will shade, and then the other one that's a little bit lighter for highlighting. Now I'm just gonna go back in with that e.l.f. Ultra Precise pencil and brush through um, the brows, add any more pencil that's sparse, and kind of get them to lay where I want. The most important step here is to take that translucent powder and bake your eyebrows. That is how I get my pencil to stay on all day. Bake your eyebrows. Then go in with a clear eyebrow gel or a colored eyebrow gel, and then it'll take the powder off as well as set them. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Deep Olive. I'm going to put a upside down triangle underneath my eyes. I'm gonna put some on my the bridge of my nose and um, my forehead in between my brows and a dab on my chin. Those are the areas that I wanna bring light to my face. That's, all gonna, that's also gonna help me with highlighting and contouring a little bit later. This process is really important to make sure that you blend it out smoothly and there's no harsh lines. Also, this concealer is a satin finish, so it gives you a little bit more time to blend, unlike the matte concealer. And this will give you a little bit more hydration underneath your eyes, but you do have to set it just like any other concealer. I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of create a contour by removing some of the concealer off the sides of my nose. Now I'm gonna take my translucent setting powder in the shade two. I always like to use a tinted yellowish translucent powder so I don't get flashback. And the translucent powder is ultra finely milled and it locks, it locks your makeup into place and it doesn't sink into fine lines. So this is why you have to use translucent powder instead of your face powder to make sure that that concealer doesn't go anywhere. That's a makeup professional pro tip. Now I'm gonna take that contour shade and pinch my eyeshadow brush and just sweep some underneath my eyes on the lower lash line. And that gives it a really polished, professional, I spent all day on my eyes look. 
then take the sculpt color and blend out any harsh lines. I'm gonna take that flat shader brush and then take the highlight color and highlight underneath my brow bone. Now I'm gonna take my face powder and use it to kind of blend in all of my makeup set anywhere in my face so that it's all one color and dust off the excess baking powder. I like to use a satin um, powder, but depending on your skin type, you can go more matte. Now I did put a little too much contour when I was when I uh, dipped into the pan, but that's fine. If you put too much on, just blend it out or take your powder brush and then go over it with powder. I'm gonna go um, around my hairline, my cheekbones. So just suck your cheeks in, making that fish face. It'll show you where your cheeks should naturally be contoured. Then I'm gonna go around my jawline. And you saw me point to my smile lines earlier. That was just a warning to just don't put any product in your smile lines. No matter what you use, it's gonna crease. So just don't put any product in there. And then I'm gonna pinch my brush um, so that it has a fanned out effect. And then put the contour down the sides of my nose, making sure to blend it out so that it's not harsh. You don't wanna see two lines down the middle of your face. Now I'm gonna take my Real Technique setting brush, go into that highlight shade, and I'm gonna make a C from the top of my cheekbones to the side of my eyebrows, and that's going to give me that natural highlight look. That's where the light would naturally hit my face, and I love to put highlighter right there on my nose bridge, not too high, and then at the very tip of my nose, it does kind of give it a more sleek look without putting too much contour on it. Now I'm gonna go into my NYX blush in Caroline. It's a really pretty orange kind of blush and it looks great on deeper complexions. I'm gonna smile and put on the apples of my cheeks. A little pro tip is to take some of that blush, use your um, shader brush and then put it in your crease. It's gonna warm up your crease. It looks great throughout the day and in pictures. Now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Bambi Eye False Last Lash Mascara. This is a great mascara. It holds really good curl. It reminds me of the Benefits Roller Lash and um, the color is super black. Now, uh, if you aren't going to use false lashes, I suggest before doing your mascara, use a lash primer. I have used a one by Milani, which is a really good formula, but really thick, and e.l.f. makes a really good affordable one too. Then go in with your mascara. I'm gonna go in with my lip balm in Chocolate Luster, and then that is the end of the look. So this is my simple, everyday, natural makeup look. I didn't use a lot of products. All the products are super long lasting, great for hot and humid weather. It's very natural looking. It looks good up close. And this will be quick with some practice. You can wear it every day or wear it anywhere. And then you can just add some lashes if you want to jazz up the look and add a darker lipstick to make it more nighttime and wearable for special occasions. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. And uh, what do you wanna see from my next video? Thanks and see you next time.